Good morning. Thanks for clicking on the channel. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. My name is Casey Thren, the self-proclaimed deer wizard. Today is 15 February 2023. Last couple days, well, the kids had school off on Monday, so we didn't get much accomplished that day. After day Valentine's Day, was able to ah, stop by Dunham's and uh, looked at all the leftover stuff they had, all the, you know, leftover gear and whatnot. And just observing, you know, looking for prices. I'm always looking for tips and tricks and little odds and ends to throw in my bag, throw in the toolbox. They had lots of stuff. I uh, didn't see any great, great prices. I did notice that uh, shells and bullets... Uh, are back on full, you know, back on the shelves. Prices are still a little high, I thought, but, uh, you know, they had a great selection, I thought. Great selection of guns. And lots of, uh, lots of stuff out there. I did notice this one game reel. I think it was made by, um, uh, Hunt, the Hunt, or Hawk, maybe? Hawk made it. It was a Gambriel for a deer. And it had a wire coming down with a loop. I don't know the price of them, but I thought that was pretty intriguing because I always kind of had trouble with the my deer falling off the gambriel. Um, it's never really on there very good, so I thought, man, that'd be you know something nice to maybe try next year. I looked at some stands, some uh, ladder stands. Man, they had lots of stuff, and I don't know if they overbought or what, but. Um, I looked, looked at a couple ladder stands. I'm going to probably switch to predominantly ladder stands. I have a couple young kids that are going to be hunting and thought maybe they could go maybe a little bit nicer to sit in a ladder stand. A little bit more room, a little safer, I'm thinking. Safety number one. But all the rest of the stuff, you know, the scents and the... Well, the attractive attraction and the... Minerals and all that stuff is supposed to be illegal here in Michigan, but it's you know it still happens. Seed they had some seed for sale, um, so yeah, looked at that stuff and the deer the last couple of days. Today it's rainy again, not too not very much deer movement the last couple of days. Raccoons have been moving a little bit. Haven't seen any coyotes in the last few days, but we'll keep going. February 16, 2023. I'm always scouting. Way back home, here's a field across from my house. It's a rye field, cereal rye. And got to remember right now, they're eating it because uh, I have some planted out in my food plot, cereal rye. They were out in there last night. And, but right now, February... They're still, the majority of their diet is woody brows. Last night they were hunkering down pretty close to the food plots. And it went from, the weather went from, I think it was high 40s yesterday. And now it's in the 30s, low 30s, and we got four inches of snow coming. And that probably was the indication of the deer movement yesterday. And last night, getting ready for this storm coming in. It is amazing. They are the pretty much weather beacons. And so are farm animals as well. If, if you talk to a farmer that has cows or whatever, and you, they'll, they'll say, hey, yeah, the, the cows will tell you. Horses, anything living outdoors, they'll all tell you. Um... And what the weather's going to do, pretty much. I mentioned the other day, I believe, last last video about thinking about pruning your fruit trees. And it, now is a great time. You just got to get it done before those buds start, the new buds start opening. I usually wait for March. But again, it's kind of depends on the weather. Now, I was also this week because of how soft the ground was. 
in some areas here in central Michigan. It was also a good candidate for seeding. Frost seeding, I guess you would call it. I wish I could explain it better, but basically there's a little bit of seed and you put it on snow or gr the ground in general. And when the ground fro loosens up, the soil loosens up, everything loosens up, when it gets warmer, and then when everything tightens up during the night, it kind of hugs that seed. And then does that, kind of massages that seed back and forth, back and forth, works it into the ground, and also allows it to germinate when the temperature is right. It's a little early right now, I believe. And the best seeds I like to use with this is our clovers. Clovers are the best seeds I like to use in frost seeding. What I like to do if I'm establishing a perennial clover food plot is I'll plant it last fall. And I did plant a few. And coming up here pretty soon, I'll be going back out there and kind of overseeding. It's kind of a double seeding. A little bit of an insurance policy is in, in my eyes. I don't like to do it with switchgrass. Switchgrass is a little too expensive for my taste, my opinion, on frost seeding. You can do it, but how expensive the seed is right now, I really like to have that seed bed properly done and planted with my planter or everything kind of done at once. It's just kind of my... Uh, I want the best case scenario. I don't want something to happen while frost seeding and all of a sudden we get a flood or the seed works too far into the ground. That's the only reasons. But still, start got to start thinking about that coming up soon. Hey, look at me getting some physical labor done. Um, this is something I've been trying to clean out since November. God has a plan and uh, I'm going to trust it. Getting it done today. Feels good getting out, getting the saw warmed up, getting the tractor out. Got to cut this big popple down as close to the uh, house and camper. and It was really creaking, it got windy. And it was about to fall down. That's what aspen do when they get big and old. They it doesn't take much wind to uh, blow them down. Even the uh, you know the branches can explode and do some damage. So I got most of it cleaned up. I'm gonna wait on uh, some of this to get cleaned up. We got a storm coming. But since I got the saw warmed up or whatnot, I think I thought I'd go back and maybe show you a project I want to do in my woods. And I got a little bit of time, and I thought I'd get a little started, get a little uh, activity going. A side note, man, haven't been in the tractor much this winter. Haven't ran the chainsaw much this winter. But at doing this, it feels like home. It feels natural. Something I've been doing my entire life. You know how it, when you visit home, if you've been away from home and your parents still say you have your childhood home and you go visit it just feels natural and there and that's what this does to me I just thought I'd pass that on I'll try my best to explain this to you it's gonna be difficult explaining these little sections of property or of of units I guess you would call it and what I'm going to do about it but I will try to generalize it I won't be able to give you my overall plan of the property just because of how I'm going to get it done, when I'm going to get it done. But I did realize something today, too, that if you have a lot of cutting to do or you, or you want a lot of cutting to do if you're not having a logger doing it, and you could do this stuff yourself, few acres at a time, few acres at a year even, and a, a lot of this is deer food sitting up in the air. And you could come out here in February and March and whatnot and lay this stuff down or lay what you can get down and it uh, feeds the deer for that, that time. So I thought that was pretty 
kind of, well, if you can't get it done, you can't get it done all at once anyway. I've yet to see anybody get it all done all at once. There's always something to do out there, especially maintenance and whatnot, but that's just kind of a quick tip. Okay, the tractor's in the way, but this is my main lane running. This is north, right there. So this is kind of my main lane coming down. The house is at the end of the lane, and uh, this is kind of my main lane. So I usually use this to, to walk down walk by I have a uh, the property line is right here uh, and it runs kind of on an angle here I have a stand there I have a stand here but you can see this trail here I have a little bit of cutting I started last year but that was just kind of warming up the saw I have a lane here and a lane there okay and this it splits off there from the main lane so what I'm going to do is take all these trees and lay them down I'm going to take all these trees and lay them down. They're mostly aspen, a couple maples. What this is going to do is kind of layer this. I'll be able to see as well. So I'm going to layer this for the deer, kind of build, I don't know, some people call it a wall. I do want to make it as high as I can so deer can't see over, but still allow deer, some separation with the deer. This is a transition zone. This is... I call the triangle. It's kind of shaped like a triangle, so I call it the triangle. That's a different section I'm not going to worry about right now. I won't be able to show the technique here because there really isn't any technique. I'll just show maybe a, a video of this after I can get done. I don't know if I can get this all done today. I might be able to get that section done. And uh, so that's just what it is with uh, filming on cell phone. But this technique can be used on all your sections of your property. So I have more of this layering I'm going to be doing. Allows deer, allows does to separate, doe families to separate, kind of keep them separated and also allows bucks and different bucks to use. Also will increase my licking branch access i put looking branches on this lane on that lane on that lane i can quadruple that and hopefully having 20 acres will hunt bigger than 20 acres that is the goal holding or having more deer here during hunting property and during the rut and that's the key to my hunting success okay i can't do this without i guess some sort of technique or some sort of plan everything here I want to go this way so I'm going to start at the end of the lane cut everything back and it's nice to have a piece of equipment if you're doing this by hand you should have two or three people to help you pu put these trees where you want them I'm gonna have a mess laying down and whatnot I don't want a mess just kind of everywhere in here I want that layer, I want that wall, so I'm gonna start there and then work my way back. Even if I'm not cutting, I'm cutting, but it's not falling, I then I will take my tractor and push hopefully everything down. And if I don't fall at that time, it eventually will fall. I don't know if I'm gonna take that big maple out or not. I, I am gonna take that out or down. Um, I don't know what to do about that one. I like it, but it's not really it's not worth any money. You can see it's cracked all the way up. <laughs> it's cracked all the way up. It ain't worth any money for timber value. It ain't doing me any good. But it's a big mess that I don't know if I want down right now. I can always put it down. A little bit of progress. Um, that's where I started, or that's where the tractor is. You can see the trails. You know, you're going to... Uh, if you had a person, you know, you may be able to push where you want stuff to go. And I'm just kind of, I thought I could flip everything down one way. I can't by myself. Uh, well, I could, I guess. It would just take a lot longer. But I'll just clean this up. It's a little easier to just clean it up. i get a grapple bucket on my tractor and uh, be able to clean these trails up a little easier. But 
Uh, I'm not too concerned with it. I know I can't see that very good, but stay with me. I'll be working on this on and off. I got about an hour into it, maybe not quite that. <sighs> Ran out of gas in the saw. I it's I have to go get ready to get the kids from school. It's starting to snow. We're looking for four inches, I guess, or they're calling for four inches. Please like and subscribe the ch uh, to the channel. Check out the affiliates in the description. Go join the National Deer Association. It's deerassociation.com. Also, go and check out my website, which I never promote, which is completedeer.tv or completedeer.com. I'd really appreciate it. Leave me a comment if you learned something or if you didn't learn something or if there's something that you want to learn or want me to hit on. Hey. Perfect timing. God bless you. God bless our troops. God bless the USA.